Well, welcome to our Deaf Reach School campus here in Karachi. So nice to have you join us today for this live tour. And we're really excited to share with you the great things that are happening here in the lives of these young people. Uh, just to give you a little background, typically deaf education is the right of every deaf child. But in developing countries, especially such as Pakistan, this is not always the case. And we have a very large population of uh, deaf young people in Pakistan, over one million, yet less than 2% have access to education. So when we started this project, our goal was to be able to provide a quality education to these very marginalized children, the majority of whom come from very low income families. Um, this project started many years ago when we first came to Pakistan, uh, almost 30 years ago actually. My wife and I are parents of a deaf child and we joined hands with some colleagues whom we met here, Anita, Daniel, Francis, and Maria, and together started Deaf Reach. It had its beginnings with a small one-room classroom in the southern area, which someone had kindly donated to us. We had 15 or 20 students at that time who have now continued with us, and you'll meet some of them today. Uh, and this project has grown from those very small beginnings to where we now have six school campuses across uh, Pakistan uh, giving education to thousands of deaf young people. So keep in mind that if we look at the deaf uh, uh, community not as a disability group, but as a minority culture that simply speaks a different language, which is their native language, sign language, then we realize that if we can just give them education and training in their language, they're capable of anything. And our overarching motto here is, deaf people can do anything except here. So we welcome you to join us today. We'll have a little walk around and show you what's going on in Deaf Reach. So uh, just to explain this building also, which is very nice, was an underutilized school, which the Sindh government has given us on a rent-free basis. And this makes it possible for us to manage the program, which is all basically supported through donations. We pick and drop these children from marginalized areas around the city of Karachi. Uh, we have 60 children we pick and drop from Baldia town, which is a sort of a slum area on the outskirts of the city from Korangi area, from a variety of areas upwards to 40 kilometers radius. And we provide a pick and drop service from their home to the school and back every day. Uh, please join me as we enter our primary section. We have a unique uh, opportunity here because this building was originally set up as a vocational training center with very large halls and it served our purpose well, as we have a school without walls, because deaf children don't disturb one another. In fact, having an open environment where the teachers can communicate openly and the children uh, provides a, a great deal more synergy and, and interest. Salam. Here, as you see, is our primary section and we have multiple classes going on in every area. Uh, in the back we'll have our kindergarten and in fact we just this year started a pre-primary class of three-year-olds uh, which is fun. Uh, this is Tina. Tina, hi, how are you? Uh, Tina has been working with us for many many years and this is her class four. What are you teaching today, Tina? Science, body, the human body. The human body, okay, very good. So you see we have media available in all the classrooms and she's able to use uh, uh, the class she prepared via research on the internet as well as using flashcards, visual language, uh, Here again we have our class one. 
and they're doing a mix and match. Our young people learn to read very fast, keeping in mind that their native language is their signed language, which is Pakistan Sign Language, or PSL. Every country has its own sign language. It's not a universal language. So this is something we've had to work hard to develop, and I'll talk about that later. But keep in mind that for a deaf child, their native tongue is PSL. Then their second language they're learning is Urdu, which is the native language here in Pakistan. And as a third language they're learning,